This is a look back at some of my favourite guns that I have used or reviewed in 2023. and welcome to AAR on Air. This week's programme is a bit of a look back and an insight into the guns I used in 2023 and I enjoyed most of them. Now the issue here really is that I enjoyed most of the guns I review and indeed I review them with their individual price points in mind. So I'm not expecting a couple of hundred pounds low budget rifle to be anything like a £2,000 top draw PCP, that just wouldn't be fair or at all realistic. I prefer to look at it from the position of someone who has a limited budget. Is it fit for the job and will it be accurate for them for its intended use? So with that in mind, my first stop is my favourite budget PCPs. Whilst I've chosen four, that doesn't mean I don't like or enjoy the rest of the ones I shot this year. Just that these stood out and pulled the right strings for me personally. One of the first has to be the M16, because this is a traditional rifle shape with and some nice wood and nicely finished off. It is light, very comfortable to use and won't break the bank at all. It was accurate and just felt so comfortable right from the start. It was less than £390 UK and is from the Snow Peak Stable and matched up with the right pellets, probably the QIS, it proved to be accurate. Really pretty accurate. All this creates a very positive shooting experience and scores high on the Grin Factor scale. Now, the next budget rifle was also lightweight and was dropped on me at the last moment and I had a very short time to be able to use and put a review together. But even in such a short time scale, I found I gelled with it and it felt like a comfortable pair of slippers. Nice and accurate and very adjustable, fully regulated. And did I mention accurate? The cost of this was around the £395 UK mark and at time of going to press I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this to an existing or a new shooter. The Reximex Pretensis. Really nice. I also tried two rifles from the T-Rex stable and even with its Toblerone <laughs> silencer very much liked the T-Rex rifle. Again, it felt very comfortable and so very easy to get to grips with and settle down at the bench. I suppose it's a reoccurring theme here because it wasn't overly heavy either. So, would be at home, out and about, pest controlling without leaving your arms feeling like you've been down the gym for the morning. The final one has to be the GX250. This is about as good as budget guns get. With the BSA barrel on board, essentially the R10 magazine as well involved, all wrapped up in a hard-wearing polymer stock and about as accurate as you get. And if you're looking for a full package as a new starter or even a seasoned shooter, these are still, for the third year on the trot, available for sub £500 price point from Vector Air with pretty much everything included, scope, mounts, bag, pellets, target, silencer, etc, etc, whoa. How they keep the price down to that level, I really don't know. I've shot these down the range and outshot some far more expensive gear, time and time again. Now one thing that really did stand out for me this year was a Springer which is hugely unusual for me because I would never normally go for a Springer. And indeed, when I first got hold of this, it was weeks before I could even bring myself to take it out of the box. And when I did finally get it out of the box, I was cursing its side lever and really started getting in a bad mood, which is unusual for me because I wasn't really wanting to shoot it. Then, after pulling the trigger... I completely changed my preconceived mind 
Wow. This was so accurate and easy to shoot. Mm. With its recoilless system. Just wow. I've since said on so many occasions, if I was in the market for a Springer, it would undoubtedly be this German-built Diana Model 54 Air King Pro. It is truly awesome. The next one really has to be my personal gun of the year for 2023 and one I have bought myself and one I would recommend to anyone without hesitation. The Reximex Mito pistol. This is a fantastic looking thing in walnut or the laminate finishes, the blue being my personal favourite. But I also have it in the polymer finish and it comes with the detachable stock. Pop the silencer on the front that Vector Air are including in their kit and this regulated full power 250 bar PCP pistol becomes an amazing target tool out in the garden and it's perfect for the average back garden distance of about 20 meters or as a full raton tool around tight barns sheds etc this particular one is fitted with a truly amazing frenzy red dot and it is an ultra light compact and yet more than powerful enough for whatever you want to use it for item unquestionably the fun gun of 2023 for me now I can say it's my choice but bear in mind I do already own some of the other guns mentioned in this review anyway. So what about the more expensive end? Well three stand out to me and all three are indeed bullpups which may not be unusual to most but most people know I do prefer a full length traditional rifle but these three stood out to me. The first one has to be the amazing, always reliable and always up on power straight out the box, the ultralight Walther Rain. I love it. And if you talk to any of the guys who use them or own them, they all love them. And indeed, it's high on the favourites list for the guys down at Vector Air as well. It has been my choice of rifle for several projects this year because of its reliability and ease of use. Always assured you are going to hit what you're aiming at, no problem. It is quite ironic when the first time I saw it I wasn't impressed at all but after using it on so many occasions you realise how good these really are. If you've never had the chance to use one, I would suggest you try to remedy that as soon as you can. Now the next one is on my want list and the only thing that has stopped me from buying one so far is that I really want one in a nice laminate stock and they don't do it yet. I've been hounding the guys at AGT to do some really nice stocks for the Vulcan 3 and hopefully they will cave in and sort some. The moment they do, I will be at the front of the queue. That said, the polymer stock is so very serviceable and high quality that you wouldn't be disappointed in that either. The accuracy is just unbelievable and the balance to this bullpup is perfect. Mrs AR has shot this before and as a bit of a non-shooter she was shooting golf tees in half at 40 metres. Yes, we are starting to talk a higher price tag, but you don't get this level of quality for budget money. We're really looking at value for money rather than just simple price tags in this occasion. In that same category is my next gun for 2023, the Calibre Gun Cricket 2 Tactical. This one does come with a load of options on the stocks and all of them are stunning. It is a full on tactical style bullpup that is so popular these days. And once again, talk to the people who own Calibre Guns and you will find a bunch of people who praise them very highly indeed. They are truly accurate and a real pleasure to use with an unquestionable build quality. The irony of this is they are produced not only in the same country as the AGTs, 
but in the same town as well. You know, there must be something in the town's DNA that produces such good engineers. That's a load of guns that have stood out amongst all of them in 2023. It's also worth a mention for the non-gun stuff as well, namely the compressors that I've used. There have been a couple. The first one is the Umarex. This is a 240 12 volt dual voltage item that can fill your guns and potentially top up your tanks, not only at home, but out and about in your vehicle also. This was the Umarex Ready Air, a really nice compact unit that is transportable and you don't need muscles like one of the Hemsworth brothers to do so. The other is the wonderful Hill EC3000 Evo that is locally made by a company employing some excellent people working in an enviable environment and easily capable of topping up your tanks as well as filling your guns. Add to it the dry pack option and the longevity of your pride and joys is assured. This is a little heavier than the Ready Air and it's 240 volts only rather than dual voltage. But the build quality is legendary and the after sales service is the best I've experienced from any company. It wouldn't be right if I didn't mention the AAR limited edition. That was a real moment of pride for me and was around a year and a half in the making and sold out completely in a day and a half. Incredible. You know, doing these reviews and programs is more work than most people realise and I've often thought it was time to retire. Really? But then yeah. either something new and exciting comes <laughs> out that is just crying out to be reviewed and shown to the world, or I meet some of you guys who ask me not to stop and please keep going. I even thought about reducing the number of shows and put one out, say, every fortnight rather than weekly. But there is enough stuff to do two shows a week out there. And no, I won't be doing two. You guys really do make the difference and I appreciate your support perhaps more than you really know. Interestingly enough, the trolls wind themselves up far more than they bother me. So, what about 2024? Well, I've some brand new guns that have never been reviewed by anyone else in the UK before in the pipeline. Some brand new scopes and accessories and some secret projects in the background as well. It promises to be a fantastic 2024, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the up and coming programmes. You know, I get a million hits each month. And we're on around 230,000 subscribers. So, come on guys, hit the subscribe button and make sure you're part of the new stuff that is coming. We will be at the Great British Shooting Show again at the NEC in February in 2024. And we'll be having a bit of an add-on twist as well as the Vector Air stand itself. So, get yourself down there and come and say hello. More about that a little closer to the time. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support in 2023. Have a happy new year, take care of yourselves and hopefully you'll join me in 2024. Stay safe and shoot safe. Bye for now.